Hello, Jason here. Um, I'm just going to give you a quick guide on the basic machinery for industrial craft. There's four basic machines and one generator to build today. Uh, let's start off with the extractors, shall we? The, uh, the extractors are generally used for extracting rubber from resin. Uh, it's a lot more efficient than using a tree tap. If you don't know how to make a tree tap, three along, one at the bottom left and one at the top, just like that. Very simple. Um, next thing you'll need is a machine block. Just like that. You need two of those. Well, you only need one. I'm just making a, I'm making two at a time. Just for simplicity's sake. Uh, you also need one of these electronic circuits. To do that, you'll need six copper cables. If you don't know how to make those... I'm sure that noise! I'm not making it up! It's just... Ah, oh, whatever. Right. Refined iron in the middle. Redstone to the left and right. Uh, after you've got all the resources you're going to need, you're going to put tree taps on the left and right, a machine block at the top, and then a circuit in the middle. That should be enough for extractors. Cool, let's put those down. Next on the list is compressors. These are used for various things. You can look them up, I'm sure. But um, usually it's to make advanced alloys and things like that. Uh, again, you start off with your machine block. This is one's a lot simpler to make. I've already shown you how to make it a circuit. And then you put three lots of stone either side. Now, voila, two compressors. Let's put those there. Uh, macerators. Right, these are used for, and this is probably the most valuable of the machines, um, doubling your ore production. Essentially, what it will do is it will take a raw ore and it will mash it into dust, and that will create double the amount that you had. You can then smelt that dust into bars. Uh, again, I've shown you how to make a circuit already. I've shown you how to make a machine block. So, let's have a look. You're going to want one of those on that side. A uh, cobblestone on either side. Three flint at the top. And a circuit at the bottom. There's your macerators. Let's put those there. Last but not least, the electronic furnace, or furni as we like to call them because we're just annoying like that. A um, little bit different, you're going to need to use iron ingots rather than refined iron to make these. You're going to need to make two iron furnaces. There we go. Put your iron furnace there. On redstone or either side. Electronic circuit at the top, and there you go two electronic furnaces. Not sure where that came from, but there you go. Right, well there's all your basic machinery. Uh, let's have a look at the underbelly of uh, what, how we're going to power these. Right, I've already got some wiring down as you can see, but um, I'll run through what this is all about in just a minute. Let's, uh, let's make some of the things we're going to need first. Uh, first of all, you're going to need some gold cable because, well, I'll explain that in a minute as well. Uh, as you can see the pattern here, you're going to need four rubber, one gold in the middle. Let's make some of that. Uh, you're going to need to double insulate it, so grab another piece of rubber, uh, combine those two. Oops, going to only need eight. Um, you're also going to need four diamonds, and this is a bit pricey, but this is for storing your energy. Uh, I'm going to make an MFE, which is quite a beast of a storage unit. There is one bigger, but we won't need that yet. If you're a bit stingy and you can't use diamonds, uh, look at the recipe for a battery box. Or, or bat box. They're, um, they're the cheap version. There we go. Energy crystals. We're going to need four. Right, let's have a look. Uh, let's make our machine blocks again. I'm pretty sure that we're going to need two. Uh, we're going to need low voltage transformers. Which you're going to need four wooden planks. Three copper cables across the middle. One at the top and bottom. There you go. I'll have two of those. Uh, to make your generator, you're going to need an RE battery. Tin either side. Redstone in the middle. Copper cable at the top. Right. Get in there. Furnace at the bottom. Battery at the top. Machine block in the middle. Generator. Lovely. Right. Last but not least, your storage unit. Uh, where did I put that? Oh, well, I've made it back into refined iron. That's great. Machine block. You're going to want your four energy crystals. Your very expensive energy crystals. Put your four gold cables. And there you have it. There's an MFE storage unit. 
Right, let's put all these in my inventory. Right, first things first, I'll explain what the generator does. Um, that one's the generator, good. Basically, uh, what it does is... Oh, if I wasn't such an idiot, let's just pick that up. Put it down. Uh, it's, it acts a little bit like a furnace in which you, uh, you burn coal in it or other various materials. You can look up what burn in there. And it'll start generating power. And this is like the internal storage for the generator. Uh, it doesn't have much storage, so we're going to hook it up to an MFE right here. Right. Now, as you can see, this MFE has... Only has... Is that right? Oh, yeah, it's charging. It has lots of points in which it can be charged. This red symbol here denotes that that's where the power is going to be coming out. So it's not really outputting to the, the top where I want it to output to. So if I get rid of this, uh, hold in my crouch key, that's not crouch, and right click, that will have sent that red icon right there to the top. So now that's, that's outputting to the top, let's just check that. Can't see what I'm doing. What am I doing? There you go, you can see the red icon on the top. Right, this will output to medium voltage power, and unfortunately our lovely copper cables here can't really handle that kind of current. So I've used the uh, double insulated gold cable, and that's outputting to a low voltage transformer. Now, the, the low voltage transformer does two things. It will, for one, convert your medium voltage to low voltage current, and it will also allow you to link up to more than three machines at once. Uh, essentially, uh, a copper cable can only carry so much current, and it will only carry enough current to power up to three machines. So given that we've just made eight on the top, uh, I'm going to split the current once there. I'm going to split it again here. I'm going to split it again there. So that should now be providing power equally to all the machines. As you can see, the, uh, the storage there is filling up. Let's go back at the top. And we've got power to all of our various machines. So, yep. There you have it. Enjoy.